Good afternoon, this is the National Weather Service in Des Moines giving you an evening update for the incoming ice storm and winter storm uh, that's going to affect the state. So for the most part, the forecast hasn't seen much change to it. We're still expecting a fairly significant ice storm to affect portions of the state. Uh, heaviest amounts are probably going to be across western Iowa and portions of southern Iowa, primarily beginning Sunday sometime around noon and on through Monday morning with lingering effects into Tuesday morning. Certainly impacts with that are going to be hazardous travel, so roadways could certainly be like ice rinks out there at times. So we hope people pay attention and, you know, add in extra time for any travel you must do. Additionally, uh, be aware that there may be some river flooding and ice jams possible later in the week with the expected warm up. So all of the winter storm watches uh, that were out across the state earlier today have for the most part been upgraded. As you can see, an ice storm warning across the west and then a winter weather advisory across much of the rest of the state. Timing wise, again, like I said, there hasn't been too much change to this. It'll be working in from the south, uh, going from south to north, uh, beginning late Sunday morning uh, and then working through uh, Sunday evening, Monday morning, and then into Monday early afternoon for the most part, again with lingering effects into Tuesday morning. So you can see for the northern portions of the state, we're looking at generally trace to oh, maybe a tenth of an inch of ice and then snow kind of being the deal across the far north and northwest later on. Across central and southern portions of the state, ice is going to be the main concern with the bulk of it likely coming early Monday morning. Here are the expected ice amounts here. So again, you can see trace to a tenth of an inch for good portions of northeast and northern Iowa. And then through central portions, a tenth to maybe around a quarter. And then the bulk of it, we are continuing to expect to be across the west and the south where a quarter to as much as a half inch may occur. Here's the snow, primarily for the light, later portions of the events. Uh, many areas may see a bit of a dusting, uh, but any real accumulations are expected to be uh, you know, remain to the north and northwest portions of the state. If you would like a detailed forecast for your area, feel free to go to our website, weather.gov Des Moines, and then pop in your city state location or zip code. Then you will easily pull up a seven day forecast with abilities to uh, drill down to hourly forecasts even. A couple of other useful resources, if you have to travel, Pay attention to 511ia.org for road conditions. And then you can even track a plow through the IODOT to kind of see what they're up to. Also, pay attention to us. Again, I already gave you our website, but we also have a big footprint on social media, including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and even Periscope. Once again, quick summary, not a lot of change from previous forecasts. Again, bulk of it starting to move in Sunday early afternoon on through Monday with lingering effects into Tuesday morning. Again, it's going to be ice is the main thing. Uh, so any travel you must do, please pay attention to forecasts and plan accordingly. And then lastly, on through the week as temperatures warm up, we may have some river flooding and ice jams possible. I'd like to thank you for listening in. Uh, again, please pay attention to forecasts as there still may be some changes before this event starts. Otherwise, have a great evening and, well, stay safe. Thank you.